innovation lovers, today we are doing things a little bit different. As many of you know, before each flight, one of the flight crew should perform a pre-flight inspection and verify that the plane is satisfactory for the flight. Interesting fact that there are more than 338 airlines in 112 countries around the world using these planes. So let's take a quick walk around of 737. We found the 737 prepared for, for the paint work. Let's pretend that we need to prepare him for the flight. There is a special route for a walk around. Initially, you start with the left forward part of the fuselage, check all the probes, gauges, sensors uh, are okay, and the all covers should be removed, of course. Then we move to the nose, check the no that the nose cone is okay, that the surface is okay, no problems. Look for the windshield, for the wipers, that they are there. And after that, proceed to the nose gear. On the nose gear, you need to check that the wheels are okay, and tires are okay, exterior lights is okay, uh, steering assembly is also in a good condition, there are no leakages. Check the doors for the nose wheel. Check the nose wheel well for uh, any abnormalities. And uh, check the pins and remove them if necessary. When you finish with the nose gear, you need to proceed for the right front side of the fuselage. Check that the all props, sensors and gauges are okay. Uh, look that the all access door are closed. Check the surface conditions, that there are no damage for this one. Check the pressure relief disc. Uh, check all kind of cracks. Check the static port. Check that the uh, cargo door is closed, if not in use. Check the antenna. Then proceed to the wing root. Check that uh, ram air deflect door is in normal position. Check that ram air inlet uh, is clean. Then uh, look for the lights. And then check the leading edge flaps for the normal condition. After that, you need to proceed to check the engine. Check the fan blades for cracks or uh, check the spinners, check the cows are closed and so on and so on. But as you can see, there is no engine. So let's keep this part. Then you continue with the leading edge, check the surface conditions, check that all access panels and uh, fuel panels are closed, if not in use. Proceed to the wingtip, check the wingtip lights, like strobe lights, navigation lights, check the static dischargers, that they are okay. Proceed to the ailerons, check the aileron condition, check the flap condition. Don't forget to check surfaces all the time because some cracks or damage could lead to the even separation of the parts of the wing. Then we proceed to the right main gear. We need to check the tire condition, the brakes, the gear strut for any leakages, the actuators, the doors, and uh, the check that hydraulic lines are secured and uh, remove gear pins if necessary. And then we will go to the main wheel well. In the main wheel well, we need to check uh, important thing that this is the APU fire handle, that it is uh, up. And then check the overall condition of the wheel well, check for any leakages, and uh, check for the probably some tools which are left by the maintenance guys. After wheel well, we are going to the right aft part of the fuselage. Again, checking the surface, checking that all doors and access panels which are not in use are closed. We need to check negative pressure relief valve. To check, we need to check the outflow valve and uh, check that APU air inlet is clear of obstacles. 
and then proceed to the tail. In the tail section, we need to check vertical stabilizer and rudder condition, horizontal stabilizer and elevator condition, APU cooling air inlet, and uh, APU exhaust cone with a tail strobe light. After that, we continue to the left aft part of the fuselage. Again, uh, checking that all doors are closed and locked, checking the drains, checking overall surface condition, and proceeding to the left main gear. For the left main gear, the checks are more or the same as for the right one. You need to check the tire, check the brakes, check the gear strut, check the actuators, uh, doors, uh, check that all hydraulic lines are secured, and for the left main wheel well, the important part is to check the engine fire bottle pressures. And then uh, again, check the wheel well overall condition. And then we can move on to the wing trailing edge to check the flaps, check for the all access panel are closed, check the aileron condition, Check the static discharge wickers, check the lights, check the lights also on the wing tip, strobe light, navigation lights, then proceed to the leaning edge again, check for the surface condition here, then we need to check the engine, and it's gone. Continue to the wing route, check the leaning edge flaps, Exterior lights, Remair inlet, Remair deflector, antennas, some drains there. Check the fuselage surface condition, check the static port. And basically, this is all with walk around. We can proceed to the cockpit and continue pre flight preparations. One more fact for you. Uh, Typically, around 200 kilograms of paint are used to paint an average 737. Once the paint is dry, it will weigh around 120 kilos, depending on the paint scheme. This is all we have prepared for you today. Take care and see you next time.